Hey guys, Blue Kool Aid here. I'm going to give you guys another video tonight because I kind of ripped you off this weekend. <laughs> but um, we had an earthquake today. I'm sure most of you guys probably know that. I'll give you a little background on the earthquake. Um, it was a, I think it was like a 6.8. I think one of them, was, I think the initial ended up being like a 6.6, .6, and there was a 6.8 to follow, and then another 6, and multiple smaller ones after that. But I did a video a while back kind of putting together and kind of connecting some of the earthquakes with our magnetosphere and what it's been doing. Um, I do believe that they're in some sort of connected, you know, dance, I guess you could call it. I'm not really quite sure, and I'm still trying to figure this out, if the, if the earthquake itself is causing the disruption in our magnetosphere, because that's actually possible, I would think. Or if the magnetosphere is causing some of the earthquakes, or at least contributing to the cause of the earthquake. Maybe like the straw that breaks the camel's back type of situation. There's a third possibility. It could be both. Okay? Maybe the magnetosphere acts up pressure, lack of pressure, and then it causes the earthquake. And then when the earthquake happens, then the earth, then the earth itself... It's kind of causing some of the disruption on the magnetosphere. So maybe we see both. That's kind of what I'm leaning towards here. But I want to show you guys. I, I was going to do a video just on how this thing's been acting lately anyway. Uh, I'm trying to quit saying um. Guys, I know it's annoying. It's one of my annoying habits. So if you hear me say um. You know, maybe I need like a shock collar or something. So when I see... Maybe I'll make one of you guys a mod on one of my live shows or something, and every time I say, um, you guys get to give me a shock. I don't know. Anyway, just a little humor. But, I went ahead and went, and I've done, I went ahead and started a, a video here on this, a time lapse anyway. I think it gives us every five minutes on this. So I'm going to play it, and this starts at uh, the 21st at 1400 hours, UTC. Keep in mind, this is all UTC time, guys. Not local time on anybody's local anything. Uh, I put a, a link to a calculator which would convert your local time into UTC or vice versa. I put a link a, a while back to one of those. There's multiple ones on the internet you can go get. Uh, I'll, put, I'll leave another link for that. But just keep in mind, this happened. The earthquake started at, like, I think it was 539 UTC and another thing with that if you guys ever hear of earthquakes you can go to USGS and see the the earthquakes and when they happen the official time official strength now they do tend to, to lower the strength after they initially come out and say it's something they always usually lower it almost a hundred percent of the time uh, you know I, I was a valid uh, uh, I was a uh, a follower of Dutch sense and I still am um, he doesn't really do a whole lot with his YouTube channel anymore, but he has other stuff. He's got a different way of predicting earthquakes, and it seems to be pretty good. Uh, so I'll just leave it at that. He's gotten attacked by a lot of different angles. So that in itself should tell you that he's onto something. <coughs> but anyway, what I'm noticing, guys, is... And, and just notice all this pressure that happens before this earthquake... Okay, I'm just going to let this play. You see it build, guys? And I'll, I'll fast forward here in a minute. So I know you guys don't want to sit here and watch this whole thing. But I guess what I'm trying to figure out is, like I said before, is the pressure going out or coming in or both? Right now I'm looking at this thing as it plays and it almost looks like it's going out. <laughs> because it builds around the earth and then pushes out on all directions. And that's another thing that has been kind of odd on this thing lately. We're seeing pressure like a while back we were seeing like black areas on this thing and that means no pressure now we're starting to see these light blues see right it's marked here see the light blue areas on some captures on this whole square almost ends up being light blue and that's very odd it doesn't normally do that so i'm going to play this and <laughs> as you see the pressure went away there that's at 1600 starts building from the backside again Okay, and then it comes again. See, this is what I'm talking about, all that light blue. 
which is increased pressure or heat, whatever you want to call it. Now, you see that? We all know that this is not good. That should not, I mean, it's just not a good thing. Not to mention, this is something else that's very important. The pressure is out there, but when you start seeing reds that close to our atmosphere, um, yeah. How can the earth not react? And something else that I've pointed out before, it almost looks like you're seeing a spiral here, guys. So I don't know if that has anything to do with anything. It's just something that I've noticed and I brought it up before. And I really haven't gotten any good clear answers or, or figured it out myself yet. So if anybody has any ideas on that, throw them in the comment section or send me an email. Okay, so you're seeing this. I'm just going to go ahead and pause it and drag it to where... Because you're going to see. You see all that? Okay. Now, that was that was before the earthquake. Now, here we go. This is around... See how the, the pressure is just not hardly even existent? And then as we get close to 539, which was the time of the earthquake, you see it start building at 458 right there? Right there. Okay, and see, look, that's at 514, kind of drops out again, but look, watch it. Okay, see that? See how it kind of, you got a little pulse right there? That's right at the time of those earthquakes, guys. All right, now, something else I've noticed, like I said, I've been trying to figure out, is it, Pushing in or pushing out, or both. Now, if you look at this, okay, that right there, that's perfect. That's exactly where I wanted it. I'm going to zoom in. Now, we've been seeing the double bow arc out here, right, guys? Like what I've talked about before. The bow signature there. If you look real close right in here, you see it kind of separate again. Let me zoom in. It won't let me zoom. Oh, I gotta exit that tool. You can see kind of a V notch right there. That's because it's two different waves. Okay? It's almost a third. A third uh, signature there. Okay? So, and then you see the red here. Now, if this was coming from the other side. Like if it was coming from the sun direction towards the earth, wouldn't it make sense that this thing here would see pressure before this did? Does that make any sense to anybody there? Unless, the only other thing is maybe the, the magnetosphere could be stronger closer to the earth and as it hits closer it causes more heat. That's a possibility too, but I don't think that's what I'm seeing here because I'm seeing stuff push out is what I'm saying. Okay? And this, this is exactly what happened before. So then you go like that, and then you just keep on going. And that's something else I was going to point out. You see the red pressure there. See how it's, if you draw two lines, it's kind of doing one of those numbers. Well, the captures I just showed you a minute ago, the red was up here, right? So it would be like this. And that's exactly what we're seeing on that other model. Now, this is impressive enough, okay? Enough to say, hey, this has something to do with it. But what I'm getting ready to show you here is actually <coughs> a little bit more, well, it's more visual. I'll just put it to you that way. This is the model we look at for, you know, the lines, the closed lines. I've explained this before. I'm not going to explain it again tonight, guys. I don't want this video to go really, really long, like most of mine end up doing. <laughs> so I'm just going to... We're just going to go back 300 frames here. At... We'll just do that. Hit apply. Okay, again, it's going to load here. Okay. Now, while this thing's loading, I'm going to talk about something here. Uh, seen a couple comments, and it's not negative stuff. So I'm not real. I'm not upset about it or anything like that. I don't want anybody to think that, but. I've been seeing a lot of comments, hey, these, we can't trust these tools. We can't trust any of this stuff at all, period. Like, cut and dry. 
I don't believe that, guys. Okay? <clears throat> I believe we need to look at these things with scrutiny. Do I think that they fake stuff sometimes, or a lot of the time? Yes, I do. But at some level, we have to at least have something to look at, guys, is what I'm saying. We don't, we can't crap a satellite and fart it up into space. I mean, I don't know how else to put it. We don't, basically, it's, it's like lack of options, kind of, sort of, okay? I mean, I, and honestly, guys, that's about where I'm at with it, so... Um, I'm going to do something different here real quick. That was at 642. Shoot, where'd that go? <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what, guys. I have such... There it is. Let's bring that one back up. Okay, I'm going to bring that one over to about... Let's just go out to about 8... We're gonna load that about a hundred. Let's get yeah. Let's go back a hundred frames. Okay, we're gonna let that load again here a second, guys. But yeah, I mean we gotta really question what we see on. I'm talking everything from the last go to anything that we look at. But we can't just automatically say, "Oh, this is fake. This is fake. This is fake." You know, we can't. Like I said, we can't throw a satellite up there at our whim. None, none of us has that capability. So I, I just don't. Un well, I guess what I'm saying is I don't quite understand what we're, how we're supposed to research this, unless we do use at least some of these tools. So you know, and that, and that, that's where I'm at with it, guys. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that goes around the net all the time, but again, we have to look at these with clean eyes. And that needs to go clean both directions. We can't automatically assume it's fake. Just like we can't automatically assume that it's true. So with that being said, that this is why I look at these models. You know, and their signatures we can tell if they kind of try to screw with stuff. And we they probably get over on us a lot. But at the same time, we're going to catch stuff too. Eventually they can't hide it, guys. Anyway, I'm going to hit play here. Actually, I'm going to, let's just, yeah, okay, here we go. Now watch this model, okay? I'm going to drag it. Now, that's at 5, 18, 26. You see it start going a little crazy? 533, 538 right before the earthquake. Okay, and then boom, look what it did. Okay, look at that. That is a drastic change in every one of the lines. Pressure changed, everything changed there. Okay, all at once, and then it stays that way. I just don't know what's happening here, guys. And look at the, look at this. Look at how that, the sharp angle that this thing is at. I mean, it's very seldom is it pointed up that direction. That far is what I'm saying. Okay. That's at 655. And then it'll go back. Watch. Watch. Just as soon as it did that. Watch what happens when it gets out here. And then. Okay. I didn't go out far enough. But anyway. It, you seen how it started calming down again? Kind of going back to a normal signature. Well, what we call normal nowadays. But it was. It was that. And it automatically went to that. Look at that. Within something happened right there. That's right around the time of the earthquake. Okay? That's my whole point here, guys. I think, like I said, I think either look at that. I mean, that's just look at the pressure in there. Look at that. And it's a I mean it's just it's just such an odd signature. Now I'm gonna show you the other model here too. This one kind of explains it in a different look. Okay, these are the lines of pressure. That's a current photo. You see that right there? That's a current, real-time picture. That's what it looks like right now. Now, do you see how straight the lines are and how just symmetrical everything is and how long these lines are? Watch. Because <coughs> I've already looked at this, guys. Even in that little short time, time lapse, you see it get a little crazy there. 
and it, it's man i just don't know what the it's just wow so i'm gonna take it back 300 frames like i always do okay we'll let this load again and and i will say again guys there's nothing we all got to scrutinize all of this we really do nobody should believe me nobody should believe uh steve nobody should believe scott over at planet x news nobody should believe alex at planet x over there at his channel nobody should believe uh who else jeff p nobody should believe any of us guys is what i'm trying to say without researching what we're seeing you can trust that we're trying to tell you the truth but is it actually what the truth is we're just trying to show you what we're seeing most of us okay there are those out there that will just try to tell you, no, this is that, and this is that. Well, at some point, when you do that, you put all your eggs in one basket, and you can't, you can't come back from that because then you're forced to try to prove what you just said instead of actually trying to, trying to find the truth. So, you know, that's why I never try to say that everything I say is 100% positive because it's not. I'm just telling you what I believe and what I'm showing. Now, I won't lie to you guys intentionally. I can tell you that. That ain't never going to happen. That's just not me. Anyway, look at this. This is at 538 right before the right before the earthquake. Okay, now you're seeing these lines like I showed you before. See how they start way back here, about halfway? And then they start pushing back that direction. You can see it just doing that. Okay, then even when you get close to the earth, you're seeing all this stuff going whopper jaw. Okay, so I'm gonna take the slide bar and we're gonna move it a little bit here. Okay, do you see that? Okay, that, that's at 548. That's nine minutes after the earthquake. None of this was there until that happened okay and watch what happens as we keep keep going you see how just as fast as it came it went away didn't it now look at that one this 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 one here is kind of interesting you see the arrows see how some of them don't even have any lines coming off of them that just tells you that they're not that just like pushing right at you so, and then you get over here and you try to look at the direction. Look at all these just going all, I mean, if you got an arrow going this way and then right next to it, you got one going this way. I mean, wow. And we see this before, guys, but it's, it's odd that it happens so abruptly is what I'm saying. We go from that to that and then back to nothing again. Okay, and then it goes back to some more of a normal what we usually see. Okay, we see all that normally usually. Now, you know, there it is. I mean, it's kind of moving. You can see the pressure moving back and forth. Is that being caused from the sun? Is that being caused from something behind us? That's the big question, guys. But I do, I do think that this is causing some of our issues with earthquakes. And I do think that the earthquakes, when they do happen, kind of affect our magnetic field at some level. So, I think it's kind of both. That's just what I believe. I've shown you what I see here, guys. You guys make up your own mind on all that. I'd love to hear you guys' opinion on it. Um, just leave it in the comments below, guys. Um, God bless. Yeshua saves. And uh, you can drink this Kool-Aid.